What is up? Welcome to another episode. I hope you're doing well and having the time of your life. Today's video is dedicated hai for the people who want to pursue their career in aerospace engineering, especially in France. Today's video, I have featured Sneha Devedi, who is a very old friend of mine since school. And she's the one who is currently working with Airbus in France. So she would be a better person to explain you how things are working there and you know her experiences and whatnot. So without wasting any further time, let's get to the video. Hello everyone, this is Sneha Devedi from Kanpur, India. I have known Chirag from uh, school days and uh, and working with him on, on his uh, multiple creative projects is always a pleasure. So uh, with this video, we are going to talk about uh, how an aerospace engineer works and what is a life of an aerospace engineer in France. So basically after school, I uh, graduated from Amity uh, University, Noida with an aerospace engineering degree and uh, then I uh, came to France to complete my master's degree from Supero and currently I'm working with uh, Airbus so as you all might know that Airbus is one of the biggest manufacturing company for aircrafts and multiple sort of planes helicopters etc and uh, their planes are being used by multiple Indian airlines as well considering Indigo one of the largest fleet so we'll be discussing about how uh, aerospace engineer, what kind of jobs does an aerospace engineer do and especially uh, my job which is a structural repair engineer in Airbus. So uh, yeah, let's go. So the first question is, what is the typical work week for a working professional in France and how important is the work-life balance there? A typical work week in France, I guess it's uh, more or less similar to whatever it is around the world. Um, I cannot give you a lot of pros and cons because this is my first professional experience. So, um, you know, I cannot um, compare it with how it is in India or US or any other country in, around the world. But uh, there is one thing which I really like about uh, working here is that there is a work-life balance while you are working uh, in France, which, uh, uh, you know, sometimes you tend to get into some sort of stress while you're working, but over here, the people around you, your, your colleagues will try to calm you down and like they literally tell you that, you know, work is not your life. So um, it's really good here. I would say that uh, the work life balance, it's, it's uh, you know, it's been considered as something very important and you should have your time to, uh, you know, to work on yourself as well, not on the basis of knowledge or uh, uh, on a professional level, but something on your personal level as well. So uh, it's not a nine to five job basically, which a lot of people might think. Uh, I have many colleagues who come to work at seven o'clock and they are free to leave by four, four thirty, or even they uh, they tend to stay back till six thirty or seven as well. So it all depends on a person. I mean, uh, there are a lot of people who don't stay in the particular city. They come from outside or from uh, uh, quite a quite a distant uh, area. So um, I think they tend to come earlier and. Uh, they leave early as well. So there is um, some sort of flexibility I see around, which uh, is very helpful. I mean, uh, so the work, the work balance is, uh, I mean, uh, it's good <laughs> till now. And uh, this is how the typical Monday to Friday goes basically. And um, after COVID, I believe that uh, there was, there are more rules considering uh, uh, teleworking, work from home because uh, apparently there are many uh, pros to, to, to the organization as well while uh, the while your employees are working from home so yeah i mean uh, it's it's a it's a great culture and uh, something to uh, something to uh, learn from um, but i don't know how it will be after like if i kept on working here for like 4 to 5 years but for now i'm enjoying it Talk about the work culture in France and how it is different from other countries and especially India. So like I mentioned before, the work culture in France is a little bit different than India. But uh, like I mentioned again, that I it's my first professional experience. I haven't worked in India much. So I can't say exactly what are the striking differences between the two. But uh, I would really like to experience uh, the work scenario in, in India because uh, whenever there are uh, there is a emotional process that takes place uh, every year in Airbus from uh, in which the employees of Airbus from different countries come to meet the department because uh, others are the offshore teams 
so uh, apparently one of the offshore team of my department works in bangalore and uh, whenever they arrive uh, we discuss about how there is some sort of difference between uh, you know how how you are being uh, uh, evolved in a particular work work culture i i, I mean uh, it's not entirely different you see because it depends on the kind of team you are in instead of a location so you might be working in uh, let's say uh, delhi but uh, the kind of it's it's very important to have a good teammates around you it's important to have a uh, understanding manager with you so i think that's all which makes the difference in in the thinking otherwise i don't think there is enough uh, differences which i can you know count also between india and france in terms of work work culture what are the important aspects of the aerospace industry that the engineers work upon the most important thing about the aviation industry or the aerospace industry is basically safety so uh, i think we all have grown up watching these aircraft investigation stories on on uh, nanjio and discovery channel um so if you uh, if you think about it the most important point that every person will talk of in 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 our industry is actually the safety measures that could be taken or could be innovated further so of course innovation and commercial success it's all they all become basically secondary when it comes to safety um so everything that that an engineer or a person from management or operations or commercial whatever they do everything revolves around improving just one factor which is safety of the aircraft so uh, even currently if we are uh, coming up with some new uh, engineering methods or some different tools to uh, ease ease the operations and the manufacturing of the airplane we still look into how uh the safety threshold is not been compromised because uh, at the end of the day either we have to stay up till that level of safety or we have to increase or enhance that we cannot degrade the safety level of our aircrafts or any sort of vehicles helicopters etc so uh, the most important parameters in aviation industry is all about having uh, like making the safest airplanes in the world Question number five, and I think the audience will love this question. What are the other job opportunities and resources available for the Indian citizens who wish to work in France? So, uh, I think since past seven, eight, or ten years, maybe uh, we have seen a lot of intake of uh, Indians in in France. I think a lot of it depends on your uh, bilateral ties between the two countries and the political ideology between the two. So, which is uh, currently, I think, uh, quite good. <laughs> um, the uh, the entire process of uh, working in France or studying in France, it's quite, uh, I would say, rather easier than how it is in US probably. Um, there is uh, not much issues regarding the visas here. Uh, which is in fact a big issue in us i believe uh, uh there is there is some sort of visas which are available for people who are first of all students or if you come here as a as a as a as a partner to someone who's working in france so uh, there are a lot of benefits regarding the uh, the entire visa process so uh, if you're looking for anything else apart from aerospace engineering also there are a, a lot of things to do in france there are a lot of um aspects of uh, you know work culture in france be it from the point of view of uh, of a mba graduate or someone in in a very creative field like designers or something so i believe you just need to look into the right place you just need to look into the right organization and schools to uh, study your particular passion and um, apart from language i don't find any sort of uh, uh you know uh, experience which i would which would uh, uh not help me to grow in in this country um of course language is something that you had to know if you are coming to a different country but other than that the people are really helpful people are very supportive they are very nice to you even the ones you probably meet just by mistake on the road asking for help um so most of them are really helpful and uh, it's very pleasant to be here because uh you get to learn a lot from others uh, finally the experience of uh, having a professional career in uh, france it's uh, it's it's really amazing but 
it's most important for me because this was something that I really wanted to do. The the kind of job profile I have right now, it's something that I have dreamt of, to be honest. Uh, I'm working exactly on what I wanted to, uh, if not touching the plane physically, but uh, trying to provide some repair justification to the uh, to the airlines. So, um, I mean, uh, overall, it's a good experience for me. And uh, I can probably say the same for a lot of my friends <laughs> along because uh, although it was a kind of you know, a rough past during the COVID because we were, we just graduated in the year the COVID came and uh, a lot of us, we lost our internship in the process and uh, our batch particularly, we took a lot of time to find uh, jobs, let's say, not even good jobs. We were just looking for jobs at a point, but um, you know, you uh, people are really helpful here. Uh, we have certain instances where the uh, HR or the manager, they extend a, a really uh, helpful hand i would say that uh, uh, when i lost a particular internship in a particular project so the uh, manager asked me to skip to some other project under his guidance as well so you know people are very uh, easy going they uh, they respect th that you you are giving your time and your energy here so uh, they'll make sure that you get something good out of it What opportunities does the aerospace industry in France offer? I believe that there are a lot of uh, roles available in the field of aerospace engineering and uh, not just in the aviation sector, but uh, in the defense and uh, space science sector as well. Uh, so if you are passionate about aerospace engineering, I think you will get a lot of opportunities in uh, France, especially because uh, it's kind of a aerospace hub. Uh, after uh, let's say US so um, not just with Airbus but there are multiple companies like Safram, Capgemini which promotes a lot of uh, engineering uh, and technical knowledge so uh, I see a lot of profesh uh, professionals getting in, into these companies from India also like uh, without even studying in France they get into these companies very easily after a certain amount of experience so um, it's really a good deal to uh, be in France and learn about their culture and uh, about how they work in, in the professional environment. So yeah, indeed, it's a learning experience uh, altogether. We have all sorts of jobs available in aerospace industry, uh, be it from structural engineer to aerodynamics engineer and um, system engineer. So it's not just the engineering, but as well as management and operational positions are always open. Um, because um, I know some friends of mine from uh, Supero who, who uh, the, their job profile is less of engineering but more of management. So I believe that you have you will have a lot of um, you know exposure. You will get to learn more about what sort of jobs you can actually do. Because once you get into engineering, you just think about this sort of engineering job or the other side of the of some other engineering job. But actually, there are much more than just you know, um, structural engineer or aerodynamics. Um, I, I can't tell much because I, I, in fact, I don't know myself. And um, uh, this is the best part about, you know, working here because um, you get to know, uh, you get to connect with so many people in, in the industry. They tell you about their job profile and something might just, you know, excite you even more than the job you're doing. So, like, like I mentioned before, there are multiple jobs available in aerospace engineering. You just need to figure out which one will suit you more perfect than, you know. I wish this video was insightful for the people who wish to learn about the work culture in France and especially in the aerospace industry. Share it with the people whom you think uh, this video will help. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're here for the first time. I'm going to see you guys in another one. Take care and peace out.